Hi, I'm Erica Gamet for Ajar Productions, and I wanted to show you the latest version of the In5 Animated GIF Maker. It's an extension for Chrome that lets you take an animation created with In5 out of InDesign and create an animated GIF from it. So first, let's create the HTML file using In5. I'm here in InDesign, and I have an animated document. And I can see that I have several different items, and they all have animation applied to them. And if I click on each of these, I can see that I've got items coming in from the top, from the left, from the right. And we can actually check that animation by coming over here to the animation panel and previewing the spread. So I can see those elements fly in and then they fade away. So let's go ahead and save that file and then we're going to export that. We're going to choose the Easy Export Wizard from the In5 menu. We'll just choose Banner Add and click Next and Pixel Perfect and click Next. We'll go ahead and export that. And then we'll go ahead and open that containing folder. And let's view how that looks in the browser. I'm going to reload that page so we can watch the animation again. Looks good. Now, notice that there's no loop set up. We're going to add that later if we want to. You'll need to install the extension in Chrome if you haven't yet. So to do that, go to the extensions page, or you can search the Chrome store for GIF Maker and add it to Chrome. You want to make sure that you check Allow Access to File URLs when installing it to allow Chrome to read your local In5 output. But if you forget, you can always come in here once you've installed the extension, click on Details, and select it down here. All right, so let's make sure that we activate the extension. Then we'll jump back into the window with the output file. Let's come up here and click on the GIF Maker icon to launch the interface. First thing we want to do is set the frame rate. Generally speaking, a higher frame rate will give you a smoother motion, but it's really only noticeable if you have images with continuous tone and movement, like a video. It won't make much difference with the animated type like we have. Also, more frames equals more information equals bigger files. The next option is dithering, which creates the illusion of extra colors within the limited 256 color range possible in a GIF. Again, you can have more dithering, which may get you a more realistic look, but the files will be bigger. And we're generally using GIFs because they're smaller and more nimble, so why complicate them with too much information and bloat? Under looping, you can check the box for a continuous non-stop loop, or you can set it to how many times it should loop. Remember, playing once and stopping is a loop of zero, Playing twice through is a loop of one. Then set how many seconds before the GIF starts playing on the next loop. We'll set that at two. Now we're ready to record the GIF, so we just hit that big red record button. And the progress indicator displays the recording and the creating of the GIF. And when it's done, the size is displayed, but you can add compression for a smaller GIF. We can choose a compression amount. The medium setting provides a balance of some compression, but also in a lossless format. And then click Optimize. And we saved a little bit of size. You can hit the Replay button to preview the animation within the panel. And if it looks good, click Save to download the GIF. Here you can rename the file if you want, or you can just get ready and load it in the browser. and it ran it twice because we told it to loop it once. Lastly, I just want to show you a slideshow format that has photographs. So here in InDesign, I have this object with just different object states. And we just want that to loop through as a slideshow in our animated GIF. This is the In5 output in the browser. Let's look at a couple GIFs that were created from this. This version was done at 12 frames per second with detailed dithering and no optimization. It's 76 megs, which is pretty big for a GIF file. On the other hand, here's that same file with no dithering and the medium compression optimization setting, and it's only 22 megs. Experiment with what works best for your needs and gives you your ideal GIF file. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.